In this video, we're gonna take a look at the options that you have to replace a video in stream on SharePoint with an updated version. There was a really great feature in uh, Stream Classic that I used quite a bit where you had the ability to basically replace a video that you had already published out there with an updated version. Say there was something messed up on the video, something like that, you could swap it out in, in place and um, not have to generate new links or anything like that. And you can do the same thing with Stream on SharePoint or Stream in your, your OneDrive locations. Um, I just wanted to show you how we would go about that. So if we go down here to my screen, I'm logged in here as Megan Bowen, and I've got this Office 365 adoption site. It's a beautiful Stream on SharePoint site, modern web parts, all of that. And I've got this slide translation uh, video over here. And if we open this up, let's say that I've got some comments and I've got Adele says, hey, this is a great video. Nestor says, hey, Megan, he, she, he at mentioned me. Hey, Megan, great job, but there's a mess up at like two minutes and three seconds. Can you fix that? Well, yeah. Let's say that I even planned ahead and I know that, you know, there was a mess up at two minutes in. So I've already updated the video and made a new version, right? I went in, made a quick edit exported it back out, replaced it, and it's sitting right here on my desktop ready to go. How would I replace this video? Because back in Stream Classic, there was a button specifically to replace the video. And if we click the dot, dot, dots right here, there's no button specifically to replace the video. But because this is just a file in SharePoint, I can replace it by just putting a new version of the file on that folder. So the way that we go about finding this location is I'm on the video. I can click in the top title bar right here of the new stream web app. And you see that I've got the breadcrumbs at the bottom of this window that show me where this file is located. So if I go click on this folder, which is called live events, I've got this file right here. There's the live translation file. It's got two comments, 18 views, and I need to replace it with the new version. Well, that's really easy to do because it's just a file location. I'm gonna drag the updated version with the same file name. It has to have the same name for the file. I'm gonna drag it onto the window. We're gonna see that it starts uploading right here at the top and pretty quickly it says, hey, um, there's, there's a version of this file with this name that already exists in this location. Do you want to update that file with a new version or do you want to rename it and keep both of them? Well, because I want to replace this in line, I want to click the replace button right here at the top. So we're going to click replace. It's going to upload a new copy of the file uh, as a new version. And you see that it moves to the top and it was updated just a few seconds ago. So this is the new version of the file. I've got, uh, if I hover over my, my little info card comes up. I've still got 18 views. I've got two comments on this video. And um, if I click the little dot, dot, dots right here next to the share button, I can even click version history. And I can see that version 4.0 was uploaded by Megan at this time. And I what I did is I just shortened the video so it would go faster. So 11 megs went down to 3.5 megs. I can roll it back if I want to. That was something you couldn't do in Stream Classic, or I can just, you know, leave it as is. I could, uh, I could check out these though and restore them or view the, the file. So if we open up this file again, it's gonna open up, it's the shorter version, right? And we can go over here to comments and I can at mention Nestor and I can say, hey, great catch. I've uploaded a new copy. So I can do that. I can, you know, reply to that comment. He'll see that in his outlook because he's been mentioned. He'll get directly to this video, see that the change was made and everything's great. All of the sharing links are all intact. If I go here and hit share, you can see down at the bottom, there's all my sharing links that I had already made before on an older version of the file. So I don't have to redo any links. I don't have to, you know, um, send anything new out. It's all in the same place that it was before. So um, I hope this helps out as you're transitioning from uh, Stream Classic into Stream on SharePoint. And um, stay tuned for a lot more tips to come. Thanks.